G'day everyone, Daniel Anderson here, Partner Manager and Product Evangelist for Valo. Now we all know that the key to a successful intranet is fresh content, uh, engaging content, and also that's going to then drive user adoption and keep employees and your staff coming back to your intranet. Now, one of the keys to that is providing your content authors or intranet owners with an easy way to be able to update content and create content. So with Valo, what we've created is a custom creation toolbox that makes it really easy for content owners and authors to be able to create that content. And that's what we're gonna take a look at today. So in the bottom right hand corner, you can see on this example homepage, we've got our custom uh, content creator. Now when I click on this, uh, little toolbox icon, I can create my content. Now when I click on create content, you can see here that we've got a number of different options available to me. Now one of these options is our, our news. So let's just say that I want to create, quickly create a news article um, for publication to the rest of the company. So I'm going to click on news and you can see here we've got a nice looking form that flies out from the side. No need to uh, to understand the ins and outs of SharePoint. We don't need to go into to site settings or to the pages library or anything like that. We can do that directly from this toolbox. So I'm going to give this news article a title. Um, and we can choose from a template, all right? So I've got a couple of templates here and I'm going to choose this news article template that I've got already created for me. Now it's a fairly basic one at this stage. What we can see here that we've, we've got our metadata that we can fill out directly uh, as we're creating the content here. So we can give our news article a published date. We can give it a description. Now we can also toggle the highlight uh, switch on or off. Now if I toggle this to on, what's gonna happen is that it's automatically going to rotate through the carousel that I've got on the homepage there without even doing anything. Now we can also set an expiration date and here is where the power comes in, uh, especially when we're talking about search and findability and displaying relevant content to the logged in user. And in this example here, we've got three metadata columns here that I can, uh, that I can set. So I've got our, just a general tag section. So let's just say we've got, uh, publishing something about career and learning and, we can target that at a specific uh, or tag that against a specific business unit. So let's just tag it against HR. We can also do the same for the office location. So I'm just gonna set those fields there and I'm gonna go off and, and create that news article. Now the power here is the ability where we can choose a template. So you might have a, a standard that you wanna set or a, a default page layout with some web parts that are already added to that page and you can, you can allow your content authors to be able to select that template and it's gonna be created automatically for you based on that template. So as a content author, all I need to worry about is actually creating the content, filling it out, uh, and uh, it's going to give me some direction when I'm creating my, my news article. So we can see here, nice and quick to create that page. I can now go ahead and change the layout of this page. I'm just gonna choose do the title area. In this case, let's give it a background image. We've changed the, the layout here. We've changed the, the region. It's looking good. We can then go then through and uh, add our content. We can add some text here. And then we can go ahead and start building out our page and make it nice and engaging for our users. Now, I can also then use the out of the box SharePoint functionality here. We might wanna add uh, a section here and we might wanna add, add a, there could be uh, a, contact, a contact person that we wanna add to this page, all right? So we're gonna use the out of the box people web part here. Contact person. And let's now give um, this page, if somebody needs to find out more information about the contents of this page, then we can uh, provide that information to the user. So I'm just gonna go ahead and post that news now. 
You can see there, nice and quick, when I hover over this contact, contact person, I've now got a, a nice, rich uh, contact card here where I can get some more information. So using the Valo content creation tool uh, from the, the toolbox here, you can see that we make it nice and easy for content authors, administrators, or anyone that's got permission to be able to create content, we make it nice and easy for them uh, so that your intranet is kept updated, the, the, the content is fresh because of how easy it is for us to create that content. So I hope that brings you some value. I hope that shows that uh, using the Valo content creation tool, we do provide and make it easy for your users to be able to create that content. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.